Last week on Heading South, we crossed into Mexico, got our car and camper searched by the Border Patrol. Our friends had to pay a bribe. We had to pay up when we were We found an amazing spot on the beach, and then we explored San Felipe and all of the different markets. We also ate some amazing tacos. So this morning we did our morning mile, morning movement. Hashtag morning movement, morning mile, you know what it is. We've been looking out here in the low tide and people have been out there with buckets and they're kind of looking at the ground, digging at the ground and we think that they're getting clams. Guys, it's currently out there now. We're gonna go out there with our own bucket and it's gonna be all of us going out searching for clams. And fun fact, Quentin actually used to clam when he was younger, so he's the only one who knows what to look for. So follow us and let's go. So I don't know if you recognize this bucket from another video. Wait for the next oil change. <laughs> change your oil, collect clams, and it can change your fuel filters. Pretty sweet bucket, five bucks, Home Depot. Dude, it's kind of new still. You can see all the muscles still here. What Dude, that looks like a tail world? Bucket. That's like literally like this big. So, when I was a kid, we still clamming, and we always would look for like the little sprays with the, like you see a little hole and a little spray come out and that would be where the clams were. And then you just dig up. I had to ditch the shoes. I was sinking and getting stuck. Oh, oh wow. What'd you make, Div? Uh, I made chana masala, which is basically chickpea curry and uh, mango Ooh. rice. Tell them why you made it. Uh, Cause I had two giant cans that needed doing. One of them right there. I still didn't finish one of them. Oh my gosh, that's so <laughs> it's funny. It's too, too fat. <laughs> wow, it looks delicious. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, but... oh. It's spicy, right? Ah, uh, it's more tart. How is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we buy food and he'll cook it. Yeah, buddy. outside doing a little workout facetiming my sister at the same time and out of nowhere we see this chevy colorado two-wheel drive if it were four-wheel drive it would have been fine and proper tires but he came down the road that we're boondocking on and literally went right into the deepest sand and he was rolling 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 sinking 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 <sighs> and then he just went, <sighs> revved it up crazy so i told my sister gotta go told ashley we need to pause this real quick i love helping people when they get stuck not to be like ford's the best or anything because i mean but to really just help people get out of their situation they're in because we'd hope that if we had a flat tire or if we got stuck or if something bad was happening to us in our truck or our vehicle that somebody would stop and help us. Mm -hmm. So hope this could get out. I think he was with his girlfriend from California. He actually said he saw us in California before he crossed the border. He saw us at the Walmart all posted up. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I saw you guys. He barely spoke any English, but I understood what he was saying. And it was funny and got him out pretty easy. He literally just had street tires and a two-wheel drive truck. And so when we pulled him out, I made sure to pull him out to the hard sand, but in between the hard sand and the hard sand, there's a lot of soft sand. Mm -hmm. So I said, I told him in Spanish, like, you're gonna have to go fast. And I told him the miles per hour, I pointed at it. And, <laughs> and he was at a stop and he literally just gunned it. Yeah, he was whomping it and started drifting out. <laughs> Created like the biggest sand cloud I've ever seen in my life. And it's just super windy. So if you look, here's the, here's the table, like what's coming off it right now. Ew. Because all of the sand is coming in the windows and stuff. So we closed up the windows. Our little light workout was cut super short because of the wind. But that's okay, because at least we had an effort to try. So going over to Cali and Keys to play games and we'll show you uh, us beating them. Since we started traveling, we've seen a lot of harvest hosts and all that. You know, usually you know, support the business and a lot of them happen to be breweries. And at first, I was like, I don't really like beer that much, but I kind of want to get into liking it because I buy it to support them. So now I enjoy beer and we're here in Mexico and I bought two different kinds of beers. One's like kind of like a seltzer type beer, it's 85 calories, but it's not a seltzer, it's actually a beer. 
and it's Amstel Ultra. And these were about, I think $5 for a six pack. This is Victoria. I really don't really know much about it, but the huge thing here is Tecate, and I couldn't afford Tecate. Just kidding, we could afford Tecate, but I was like, let's get the cheapest beer. So this comes out to like 50 cents USD <laughs> per beer, and I think this is around 83 cents a beer. So we're gonna see which one's better. I already know this one's pretty good. It's nice and light, easy to drink, goes down nice. This one I'm pretty interested to try. So I'll try with the Victoria and let you know what I think. Smells like beer. <laughs> Does it? Tastes like beer. Tastes like beer. Not my favorite. Um, kind of just like, maybe it's like too much like beer. I don't know. Out of 10. Out of 10, this is like a solid eight in my opinion. Cheap, a good budget beer. This is like. A really good budget beer, but gross. Yeah, it's probably like a seven. <laughs> Oh, that's still higher than I thought. I'd buy it again for 50 cents each. Okay. Good deal. Good to know. We didn't end up playing any games. We ended up just talking and yeah, those beer ratings still stayed the same. We're back at our camper having snacks before we do our little baby wipe shower. And we will do like an early little morning mile, morning movement, don't miss out on it. And then we're gonna probably shower in our cold water and then go to town and fill up and explore again. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Look at that sunrise out our window. We had our top window open. It's really dirty, but it's so nice to just lay here and look up at the sky. Guys, you know what time it is. Hashtag morning movement, morning mile. Make this a thing in your life and get out there and adventure. We got two joining us today. If you can see them, three, including Charlie. <laughs> Just got back from our walk. We ended up meeting some people. One of the people we met had a rooftop tent and the other one had a van. So we ended up talking to them for a little while. Um, and now we're back at the camper. We're gonna make some breakfast. We're gonna take our shower and then we are gonna go fill up and get some more water and scope out maybe some other sites in this area. Just took a super, super cold shower and it felt good. It wasn't super cold. It was pretty cold, but your body gets used to it pretty fast. And we just like have to take our towels off the wall and all that and move stuff around, take the cat box out. But it was nice, well worth it. It was cold, but your body gets so used to it and it feels so good because like salt, there's something about taking a cold shower after having like salt and stuff in your hair and on your body. So check out the flow. Yeah, I know you guys like it. And Ashley's next, she's making breakfast now. She's next, we'll see what she says after hers. So we've got our eggs and our seven cent bread if you watched our last video. Gonna try it out and see how it is. How's the seven cent bread? So good. Are we gonna buy more today? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna buy more than four loaves this time. So a lot of times we don't typically shower in our shower for two reasons. One, because we don't like to waste the water, especially since all we do is boondock. And two, because we like hot showers and our shower does not have a heater. It used to, but we changed out the system to be like a diesel heater and we didn't end up doing the water heater. We only did it for like heating the RV, which is fine, but it's a little bit shocking, like freezing cold shower, but it was pretty nice feeling super good. It's been a couple days since we, had a shower other than baby wife showers. The other day when we were coming into San Felipe, the actual city, we saw that there was a gym called Squats Gym. 70 pesos a person, which comes out to like $6.89 a day for both people. So we're gonna go check it out. We're just curious to see what it looks like and what the hours are and all that. So she ended up telling us it was five dollars a person sure, online yeah, it's not it's cheaper. and it's i was cheaper. trying to be friends with her because i know she competes because she was like a monster and i used to compete so i was like oh you used to compete or you compete like i used to compete you know i was just trying to make friends like try to get us a better deal and it didn't work out so five dollars a person with no showers is kind of a lie <laughs> Max, I'm gonna show you what we got and then how much we spent. 2.1 pounds of chicken, four plums, uh, hot sauce, beef, 14 ounces of beef, a big pineapple, cottage cheese, and tahini. 
So let me tell you how much we spent. So for all that, we spent 345 pesos, which is equal to 16.9 US dollars, so almost $17. And we got all this. That was the more expensive grocery store. And then next, we're going to show you the grocery store we just came out of, which is the more cost-effective store. The second store that we went to was actually the same store we went to in our last video. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. But we got a couple of things here. We got like a head of cauliflower, which is pretty cool. It didn't have a bottom to it. So that actually makes it a lot more cost-effective. We have, I think, one, two, three, four, five avocados. A lot of bananas, like seven or eight bananas. Four or five carrots. The bread we love for seven, almost seven or eight cents a piece. And a nice pack of eggs here. And this was a total of $9.39 USD, or in other words, 190 pesos. So together we spent about $25, $26, and this will feed us for a good amount of time. We've been finding it's a lot more cost effective for us to buy eggs and eat them instead of meat because the meat we like eating leaner meats and they're kind of harder to find. So we did buy that 90-10, but we like 93-7 or lower. So chicken and eggs is kind of our go-to right now. And we just use like supplemental fat sources like eating tacos or uh, <laughs> avocados. So yeah. All right, we're here at the water purification little store so we're gonna try to get some water here filled up our water it was 45 pesos which is two dollars and 21 cents to fill up 15 gallons we weren't anywhere near empty but whenever you see water see fuel it's good to just fill up because you don't know when you'll see it next the water is from an aqua purificata which means it's purified water good to drink and usually you, people bring like their huge um you know, five gallon water things. They actually clean them out and everything. So pretty cool. So we got purified water, which is like literally what's in the water bottle. Um, just because you don't want to drink the water here. Yeah. I've heard it's gotten better, but it's still not good enough to drink. Oh my god. Jump. Ish. I didn't have it. Go for it, Sorry. Grab that, grab that one. Hold it down. Whoa. It's gonna hold it down. I'm trying to. Oh. Oh, oh we lost one. So good. Not both of them. This is amazing. How much was it? We're back. After some tacos, we went into Thrifty's Ice Cream Shop where we got this amazing ice cream and they used the most interesting scooper that made like a square type scoop. Thank you. <laughs> Thoughts on the ice cream and how much was it? So we met this guy named Miguel in town, met him two days ago. And I told him my name was Grayson. He said, oh, crazy. I said, no, Grayson. I said, you can call me crazy. That's fine. Met him. And so we saw him again. And he's actually like an ambassador for San Felipe. He was wearing a shirt. He's like one of the guys who goes around and helps give people information. But he also owns his own shop. So I asked him. I said, hey, you know, he told us where we went were the best tacos. And I agree. And it's the Kikiriki, best tacos. And I said, hey, where's the best ice cream? He goes, oh, best ice cream. I know. I said, was it this place? He said, no, it's this place. And it was so good. I think it was about four, it was about 45 pesos per ice cream. So we just gave 100 pesos just because it's, I feel like it's such a nice thing to do. Everything costs so much less here. So to be able to give is cool. For our eat out cost today, we're at $14. We got five tacos and two ice cream. Also, we had those churros. It was $2 for that whole big pack of it, but we didn't have money, so they paid for it, and they're like, whatever, it's $2. So $14 for churros, five tacos, and two ice creams. So this morning, as you know, we left our spot in San Felipe, so we're going to a new spot called Shell Beach on Overlander. We can put the coordinates below if that's something you're interested in. It's a free spot, 25 minutes south of San Felipe, so we're gonna check it out, probably post up there for a little bit couple days, day or two, three, I'm not really sure, but of course we're gonna keep you in the loop. So Grayson went in to get a chip for my phone that he's gonna talk about in a second, but he also got this Diet Coke, but it's not Diet, it's Light Coke, <laughs> and it is so good. Doesn't it taste different Let to you? Let me try it again, I didn't try it, and it wasn't trying it. It's not different, but let's see. I did try it. It's just like a stronger flavor. It's sweeter. Cause maybe it probably is not diet, it's light, so it's not zero calories. Huh. I have no idea, Pretty but it's good. really good. It's also been like forever since we had soda, because Ashley said we were done drinking soda, and then begged me for a soda. Yeah. So that's the last one for like four months. So, 
We got a Tesla SIM card for Ashley. It's got unlimited social medias because she basically runs our Instagram, Facebook. We both do it YouTube, but it doesn't have YouTube on there. Uh, Twitter, but we don't have Twitter. But it's got unlimited social medias, which is great because if you know, we are social media managers, so we do need that. Dave was like, I can probably do it. We're like, and Quinn and I go, let's see it. <laughs> Recovery time. Yesterday we recovered a little truck. Today we're recovering one of our own, a dually truck camper. It's gonna be heavy, but we'll be able to do it. Anxious, very scared. Send help. Should have aired down from the start. These things get stuck all the time, but not a four. Now that we're aired down, we'll try again. I think we're in a pop right now. stuck <laughs> in sand and they're digging us out so we shall drink some soju cheers 